So I know I should be working on Siniguru Max right now, and that project is still ongoing, and it's actually getting pretty close to completion, so I am excited to share with you sort of more news about that. Um, but I do find that my enthusiasm for it is kind of fluctuating and uh, I am going through these phases where I you know it's just difficult for me to enjoy working on it um, so instead I've been getting completely distracted over the last few weeks really by this this is the first proper level I've really made in Max and it's set on a ship um, so something that's quite difficult to achieve I've, I've never seen anything quite like this done before in classic or in Max um, it's actually an idea for a game that I had ages ago uh, but the technology just wasn't there I just didn't think I'd be able to pull it off Certainly not in Classic, um, or even FPSC, but with Max, I think, you know what, I think we are actually getting closer. And what's nice is this is the first level in Max that I've really enjoyed creating. Um, it's taken me a long time to learn to love Max, and I certainly don't enjoy every aspect of it, and it's got a long way to go. Um, but I have really enjoyed putting together this level and just learning the differences between it and Classic, because there, there are lots. Um, but there's also some unique kind of opportunities as well that I'm enjoying sort of exploring. Um, so anyway, here you've got my, my boat level all arranged into kind of different sections. Um, and the idea is that I can kind of work on each uh, deck kind of separately. So I'll be adding in details like controls here for the bridge and seats and whatever. Um, and then the idea is I can just kind of stack all these at the end. Um, once I've got all the furniture in and possibly even the trigger zones even I might go I might literally put all that in as well and then you just literally kind of grab it and using the grouping function as well um, and the grid function you can kind of stack these levels on top of each other um, it's quite a bare level at the moment there's no sort of furniture in here it's just different walls and things I started off by grey boxing this level which is something I have never really done before but just using basic primitive shapes to lay stuff out on the grid system just to work out the scale of everything and then I've gone back in afterwards and replaced all that with these sort of new meshes that I've made so I've made different types of doors different walls I mean there is a danger if you're going to do like a grid based level like this that it will come out looking very blocky and like FPSC so I've spent a lot of time making lots of different variations of walls and things kind of half width ones and half height ones and some sort of diagonals as well just to kind of remove some of the boxiness a little bit um, and also like rounding off a few of these corners and adding in some different windows and things and um, I mean the bridge is like a the whole kind of exoskeleton of the bridge is its is its own model basically that took ages to do um, lots of weird angles in that one that had to be um, yeah negotiated so yeah I thought I'd give you a quick tour of um, the level in action um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do a little time lapse of me stacking all the different levels together you can see the entire level is being laid out on an enormous uh, tile it's really just this grey one um, that's been blown up to size and that's basically to give me a sort of a base level for everything um, and then yeah I basically just go along and grab the roof for the bridge and start stacking and yeah go from there And so there you have it, that is the level stacked together. Um, and as you can see, it's all wrapped in this nice hull. There's a few little bits of floor poking out here, but I'm going to chop those off at a later date. And do you know what? It's actually starting to look like a proper boat now, so I'm actually pretty pleased with this. Um, it still looks a little bit boxy at the front. Might try and maybe bevel that a little bit, possibly. But um, yeah, let's go for a little look round, shall we? Okay, so here we are on the bridge, obviously very bare at the moment, and um, I'm not really sure why the walls aren't casting shadows. Funny enough, if you click this object in the editor, it does start casting shadows, but uh, yeah, not here for some reason. And uh, yeah, this weekend's little project has been doing all the railings that kind of run around the edge, so you can kind of see there's the, the bow. Um, haven't put in like an anchor or anything yet, but I'm going to going to do all that like a winch and stuff um, so let's go for a little bit of an explore so uh, I've learned a lot about shipbuilding by doing this project uh, one thing I learned was that the captain pretty much always has his cabin um, immediately below the bridge and uh, it's bigger than all the rest obviously because he is the captain um, and often the chief engineer has their cabin next door again these are just blank walls but um, yeah they uh, they will be filled with a bit of furniture um, later on and then you've got the sort of more normal crew quarters so uh, they just get a porthole unfor unfortunately so yeah not much in the way of visibility um, and then if we head down a level um, 
now we'll get on to um, I guess this would be what C deck if A is the bridge and B is what we were just on this is now C deck so C has you know a lot of space at the back for a lot of gameplay um, there's nothing here yet but there will be and uh, yeah I think possibly the shader for the ocean for uh, Max could probably be improved because it's not like super realistic I find it's not reflective enough like it only seems to really reflect the Sun it doesn't seem to reflect anything else um, but uh, yeah so as you can see I'm trying to get away from the boxy aesthetic but it's quite challenging um, and in the rest of this deck you've got um, I'm just trying to think about kind of areas where gameplay could happen so I've made this sort of galley space a little bit bigger than it really would be in real life but that's you know I can probably put an enemy or two in here whereas some of these other smaller rooms I think it's going to be quite challenging but they might still be fun to explore you know so sort of more crew quarters um, I'm thinking yeah obviously you've got like the kitchen here um, oh here's another thing about Max I don't get in Sketchfab this uh, sort of stainless steel fridge looks perfect basically it looks just like it would in a restaurant but for some reason the roughness map is like um, a lot less rough in Max for some reason um, so you can get it looking perfect in Sketchfab but then you go and put it in um, uh, Max and it yeah it's just not as rough um, so I don't know why that is it means I have to constantly go in afterwards and tweak the the roughness map down or the gloss map um, anyway so yeah more rooms uh, just more places to explore um, and as you probably saw earlier uh, this is not the end you can actually delve into the depths of the ship now I'd like to have a little script going so that when you uh, when you're kind of not looking at the sea the sea disappears unfortunately we haven't got that so the sea is here so I'm just gonna have to manually move that out of the way for this next bit so just ignore just ignore this um, but let's go downstairs it's uh, well it's very dark down here I've been playing with environment probes um, but there's a few extra rooms down here to to explore um, obviously nothing in them at the moment and then we go down to the engine room and uh, there's a little switch on the wall here let's turn some on some lights there we go okay so uh, again just starting to play a little bit with what I can do with lighting um, so these models I didn't make them um, they come from uh, I think CG Trader so uh, yeah um, I think they they look amazing um, and they really fit with the aesthetic and um, yeah it took ages to find uh, sort of big industrial engines like this like they have in ships of this scale um, and also most of the textures come from an Unreal Engine, um, an Unreal Marketplace asset pack, um, which has a whole load of boat props in it, which I haven't started using yet because that's sort of all the fine detail stuff. But the uh, the textures I'm kind of using to great effect and I am kind of making my own as well. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of creating some of these ones down here. Spend a lot of time creating things like this little kind of tread plate effect going on here, which um, yeah may, might need to up the normal map on some of these because they're not they're not that um, prominent. I'm going to put a door in here to block off this bulkhead I think but uh, yeah it's just a kind of a cool space to explore um, and yeah various different machines here and there'll be lots of kind of you know whirring of machinery and this will be like a little industrial well not industrial but like a maintenance area so there'll be all kinds of service benches and things down here and so the idea is that uh, yeah I'll be able to create quite a fun little little short game out of these these various different sections so yeah uh thanks for joining me on this short tour of this very bare looking boat uh like i say I'm, I'm really enjoying putting this one together and i'm excited to share more progress on it um in the future uh, and also more progress on sinigiri max so yeah i'll just leave you with a nice shot of